spiritual closets right now and shut the door against all other thoughts, against all other activities of the flesh, and that our spirit man, Lord, will be immersed deeply in the word of God. That's how we can come out with healing. That's how we can come out with deliverance. That's how we can come out with blessings. Thank you, Father, for this hour. It's better that I hear, Lord, expecting from you. May you meet them. I remember, Lord, right now, our brother that is sick in the house, and I did it to come back. Lord, and you perfect his healing. Remember, little sister Grace, Colade, you will heal her and perfect her in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for our mother, the mother of the Kinsley, the American that is here, how you have strengthened her. Thank you for other mothers that are here. Thank you for those that are not here. Thank you for the fathers that are here, for strengthening them. For giving them health, overcoming Satan. Help us more that we will be where you want us to be. Let this service be a different one. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's open our Bibles before you sit down. Quickly in Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Let us read from verse 12. Scripture says. Please, when I read the scripture, except you are an like older man, you have to stand. This world is bigger than everyone. Amen. Amen. After that, he appeared in another form, unto two of them. Amen. Amen. In another form, not the form they knew. As they walked and went into the country, and they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward, they appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he had he was risen. And he said unto them, Go in into all the world and preach the gospel to every great job. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, and they shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, they shall not hurt them. Amen. Amen. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless the reading of his word this morning. Yeah. Let's be seated. I have a very short message. Yeah. Let us yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Even you, this young man, you are laughing at me. You 
no longer trust me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, because this is a village meeting. Amen. Yes, sir. Right, hallelujah. Amen. I've done well now. Praise the Lord. Amen. We give praise to God. How many of you are blessed this morning? Yes. Yeah. 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 The glory of God and our Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Yeah. 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 Welcome all of you that are here for the first time. I was told a sister came all the way from Ifa. The Lord bless you this morning. You will not go back the same. You see, this truth is very important, and we want you to key to this truth. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I don't know where you are sitting, but this truth is very what, important. And we would like you to key to this truth. I'm sure that you are not here by accident. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. I will personally want to follow you up. That's the step of E4. Amen. Praise the Lord. Where are you sitting? Where is she sitting? Okay, God bless you, sister. Amen. There is a church of ours very close to you. Amen. Same faith. Praise the Lord. It's not a branch. It's the church of Jesus Christ. We don't have branches. Praise the Lord. Same faith, same spirit. And in that last place. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are going to have an appointment there. God bless you, Richard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let me sing this song again. That there is healing and power in the blood of Jesus Christ. As sins are Jesus. Amen. To my sins are not Jesus. To my cousins and nines, no, Amina. Amina is Amen. You should have known that from our person that came from Uganda. Praise the Lord. Amen. To my cousins and nines, Amina. To my cousins and nines, Amen.
dimensions we have great thinkers in the world I salute them how would I have been the farthest place I've been to is the Philippines how would I have been in the Philippines if there were no great thinkers they talked well and an aircraft was built First aircraft was on several floor in Africa. I hope you don't have that. Is that correct? The first aircraft was successfully flown in South Africa. You should know. Check the picture. When you snap the picture of the wall from the space, it is only Africa that is complete. And that came because it was. Position in the center. Obviously, position in the center. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you, Amen. 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 Great thinkers. Men build ships. Great ships. To cross oceans. Amen. They thought above ordinary levels. Some people's thinking this morning is just how they will eat. I go eat their food. Not, nothing more than that. Amen. There are people here thinking, even you know, as I'll be preaching, they believe that time. That they didn't want the soup in the morning. That soup is spoiled. And the soup is spoiled. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 What does God think? If I am in the image of God, if you are in the image of God, and you are thinking, he does think too. But in common life, have you ever walked up to somebody and you say something? You say, You say what I was thinking. Have you done that to you? No. Amen. Amen. Exactly what I was thinking. My brother, you've set my mind. 
I say this. When there is harmony in the marriage, the wife will begin to speak the thought of the husband. And the husband will begin to speak also the thoughts of the wife. They are thinking when you die. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 That's why I tell women. Accept the marriage of the person that loves you. Not the one you think you love. Because that thing you think you love is not love, it's just fantasy. God grows. A man can love somebody who does not love him. But the woman cannot survive to love somebody that does not love her. She can't survive it because she is to be loved. Amen. Amen. Are you following me this morning? She is to be loved. Praise the Lord. Amen. For us men, if your wife is managing you, you don't have a problem. You have the absorbers. You receive those shocks. Go up. Because the love of women is is off and on. That's right. That's and we begin to discover something. I have to say some things this morning. Am I free to say those yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah. I'm dropping now because we are talking about the spirit. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Husbands, if you are here, say amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yes. Don't look at me and say, why did they say amen? Every man is a husband, potentially. But every woman is not a wife, potentially. That's what the problem is. Yes, they are not spiritual. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now, to a husband, I want to tell you something. Watch your wife or your wives. Praise the Lord. Yes. When you see her start getting angry unnecessarily, check the dates. It's a revelation I'm telling you. Revelation. Revelation is not everything that God revealed to you. You can see some revelation. Check your environment, brother. So that you don't go and fall into trouble, unnecessary trouble. Mm. She said, just stand up. Two days ago, she was very lovely. Then she just woke up one morning and everything she began to complain. She began to remember when you visited her father's house, how you didn't greet her grandmother that died. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Check the date. She's seen something. Are you understanding me, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Praise the Lord. Nature is telling on her. They have these days they used to wait. Some four days, some five days. Until those days escape, you will not be in peace. Brother, it's not going to fight the fight you don't know. Many sisters don't know what this time saying, but I'm giving you revelation now. Okay, let's do that. Let's do practical assignment. Check the next date. You should see something. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see some kind of uneasiness, tension. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tension from nowhere. Complaints that are not necessary. Praise the Lord. All these are not problems. Don't use that to judge her. 
Amen. He's naked. Now watch again. When the woman grows and gets, she's approaching 50 years. Amen. Amen. Five years to the time of that season, whether the general year she wants to clock, five years to that season, it will start giving a sign. Come and go. Come and go. Sometimes she gets very wild. Very angry over nothing. Praise the Lord. It's nature. They need counseling. They need prayers. They need a loving husband. That's what is cast today. There are not so many so many loving husbands like me. That's what is cast today. We need a loving husband. I know, I know loving husband. I see some of them here. But some of them, I know they don't love their wives. Praise the Lord. They are looking at me. I go to Bible. I see there. I see my remove my eyes. I'm not removing my eyes. You know yourself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we need tolerance. We need understanding to get these wonderful people. Meet God's purpose in their life. Because God helped you. You need to help another. May the Lord bless you this morning. Amen. 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 This morning, we are talking about the eternal thoughts. My subject will dance in between prayer and speaking in tongues. Big controversy that has caused how many here pray in tongues? Well, your language is a tongue, your language is a tongue of understanding that you understand. How many here pray in tongues that they do understand? Don't be ashamed, lift up your hands now. Because this number is few, there is a problem. Amen. Amen. There is a problem. Let's read our text again before we go back to any other scripture we're going to read. Mark chapter 16. How many of you believe the message of the hour? Amen. Amen. The message of the hour to me is back to the Bible. Amen. Amen. Not with private interpretation, no. But the Lord has given the message of this age the light. He made it a light and gave it the light to lighten up the paths. So let us read verse 16. Yes. Mark 16, verse 16. Yes. He that believeth yes. and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. If you do not believe, therefore you won't be baptized, and you will be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. In the name of Jesus. Devils shall be cast out. They shall speak with new tongues. In the name of Jesus, we will speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. Best of them. I don't know what I mean. In the name of Jesus, they shall speak with new tongues. It is a song shall speak with new tongues. Say, they, those that believe, shall speak with new tongues. Never understand this one. Open your heart so that we can, we can flow in the spirit together. Let's open the Bible to Isaiah chapter 28. Isaiah chapter 28. Verse. 
verse 10. To Isaiah 28, verse 10. Yes. For precept must be upon precept. Yes. Precept upon precept. Yes. Line upon line. Line upon line. Yes. Here a little and there a little. For with stammering leaves, and another talk will he speak to his people. Yes. To whom he said, This is the rest where it wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Stop. The rest is the Holy Ghost. The rest is the Holy Ghost. So when the Holy Ghost enters into a person, the person must speak in another tongue. I want you to calm down. Follow me to where I'm going. The person will speak in another tongue. But how will he speak in another tongue? He shall bring precept upon precept. It shall be line upon line. It shall be a little here, it shall be a little there. Until the body is formed. As I'm preaching this morning to you, I am preaching in another tongue. So you are understanding me. But the message might be new to you. There is a tongue. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, let's read what happened. From verse 4. On the day of Pentecost, from verse 4, something did happen. What was that? Chapter 2 of Acts. I thought the day of Pentecost was a scripture. I said on the day of Pentecost, verse 4. Chapter 2 of Acts and verse 4. Let's go. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. And began to speak with other tongues. Now, they spoke with other tongues. Now, I can remove A N, and this another tongue will still be other tongues. And he said they're other tongues. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. When they received the Holy Ghost, they began to speak with other tongues. What were they saying? Read on, brother. As the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit gave them utterance to speak with other tongues. And how? And they were and they were dwelling at Jerusalem. Yes. Devote men. Yes. Out of every nation yes. under heaven. Yes. Now, when this was noised abroad, yes. the multitude came together. I was confounded because that every man had them speak in his own language. Amen. Every man had them. Most of them were born in Arabia, in Egypt. In Greece, they dare not speak their mother tongue when they were in Jerusalem because nobody would understand them. But they heard these Galileans speaking. What were they speaking? Keep going. They were speaking another tongue. They were what were they, what were they saying? Verse seven. Yes. And they were all amazed and marvelled. Yes. Saying one to another. Yes. Behold. And not all these which be Galileans. Yes. And how hear we every man in our own tongue yes. wherein we were born? Stop. Come now after to verse 11. Grace. Grace. And Arabians. Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. They were speaking the wonderful works of God. In a new tongue, they were speaking the wonderful works of God in a new tongue. You get that? In a new tongue. All right. Let's see something else. First Corinthians chapter 14. Please, you're going to run quickly with this. 
Yes. From verse 1. First Corinthians 14, verse 1. Yes. Follow after charity. Uh -huh. And desire spiritual gifts. Yes. But rather that he be prophesied. Mm. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men. Stop. You come here, unknown tongue. Let's write that down. So, the apostles did not speak in an unknown tongue. They spoke with new tongues. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody getting me here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The apostles for the day of Pentecost did not speak with unknown tongue. Yes, that's right. They spoke. Praise the Lord. Amen. In a new tongue. Amen. Amen. But it was known to people. Amen. Amen. They speak with other tongues. Stammering. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But it was not unknown to the hearers. But Paul here is saying that there is unknown tongue. So which one is the evidence of the Holy Ghost? Is it the new tongue? Or the unknown tongue? If I want to accept any, it will be the new tongue. Because Jesus said, they shall speak with new tongues. But I explained to you the first portion of what new tongues are. When Brother Brown came, he spoke with new tongues. Let me give an example. He told us that there shall be no mark of the beast written on our forehead. But in, they wrote it there, and we read it all our lives, but we couldn't see it. Until we are brown, okay? He told us that hell will not born eternally. That's a new thought. Amen. He told us all these signals that you give names, that is not their names, that there are demons. That's a new thought. He shocked me when he said a madman can have the Holy Ghost. Yes! That's a new talk! He said, why? Because it does not touch his soul. His mind is bad. Yes, but his soul is preserved. Yes. Yes. That's a new talk! Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, go verse 2 again, brother Moses, please. First Corinthians 14, verse 2. Yes. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men. He's not speaking to us. So if, if there are men here, he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does not speak to men, but he's speaking. But unto God. He's speaking unto God. For no man understandeth him. No man understand him. Albeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he is speaking in the spirit mysteries. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification yeah. and exhortation ah. and comfort. Listen to me. Somebody say, I got a prophecy. It's out to check. If the prophecy is from God, it will edify. It will do three things. One, it will edify. What's the simple way of saying edify, edification? It will build you up. That is, it will correct you and help you to stand well. Amen. So our force cannot control our temper. We only control our temper in the church. When we are seated like that, like this, everybody is going to heaven. But wait till we get home and then we know our we call. Amen. Amen. But prophecy will come and build you up. It will build you up. 
that the world edify. Another thing it will do, it will do what? It will exalt. Exaltation is also related to building what, but it has correction. Amen. Amen. It will exalt you. It will exalt you. Praise the Lord. But the next thing promise will do, it will exalt you. But when you are coming to the house of the Lord, sometimes your countenance fall. You are not in a good mood. You have problems. Am I talking to somebody? You have needs. When they say praise the Lord, you see other people shouting. You can't shout because the shouting cannot come from the inside. Then prophecy will come. If you do what, sir? Comfort. A prophecy from God cannot tell you that that your neighbor, no matter how many, is very rich. That my man will not want to kill me. That prophecy is not from God. You, no matter how holy you are, you will have problem. You will have problem. They tell you, Mama Mina has cut the edge of your clothes. You see that your clothes that was cut off? It is Baba Asabi that cut it. They tell you that. God won't do that. How do I know, sir? Judas Iscariot was with John the Beloved. John the Beloved put the head, he said, on the bosom of Jesus every time. And Jesus never warned John to be careful of Judas. Allow them to grow to, together until the time of the end. When the others, it's the evening time. Every child will go back to his mother. Praise the Lord. Somebody hear me? Correct. So keep reading, brother. Let's go. Verse 4. Verse 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue yes. edifieth himself. Yes, he is building up himself. If you pray in an unknown tongue, which you must pray in an unknown tongue, brother. But he that prophesied edified the church. Listen to me. If for one week you pray, you don't get up to the level where you pray in tongues, you are not praying. Why? You are praying and observing your environment. You cannot pray in the spirit or with, sorry, there's nothing like praying in the spirit. You cannot pray with the spirit that you will not enter to talk with God. The things, that's what I'm talking about. You will talk, eternal thoughts will be expressed. Amen. Yes, sir. In an unknown tongue. Amen. That's why when Paul was caught up in the third heaven, he said, praise the Lord, he saw someone. Amen. Amen. He said, that one that where he went to, the things he saw there were not lawful for any man to do or to utter. But tongues, in the tongues, he will communicate that with his God. Learn to pray tongues. You don't learn it, but submit yourself to pray it. It's there. Brother Abraham said, that every child that is born and does not cry is not a perfect child. Yes, sir. No born well. So what's the cry then? Praise the Lord. Yeah. You don't you don't start the fire. You need to start the fire. You need to start the fire. Don't quench the fire. But it is for mature people now because when they come into the fellowship, praise the Lord, the spirit is subject to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, Hallelujah, brother Robert. The spirit is what? Subject to the Holy Spirit. 
Praise the Lord. Read quickly, brother. Let's go. I would that ye all speak with tongues. Yes. But rather that ye prophesy. Rather prophesy. For greater is he that prophesy than he that speaketh with tongues. What is Sunday's prophecy in relation to the tongues? Is that when the tongues. Except he interpret yes. that the church may receive a divine. Thank you. If the tongue is interpreted, then the church receives a dedication. It becomes a prophecy. Tell your neighbor. Amen. Amen. Touch your neighbor. Say, brother. Amen. Sister. Sister. Open, your Open your mind. Open your heart. Open your heart. You, must you must prophesy. Now, if Paul says everyone should prophesy, it means that before the prophecy will come, there must be those tongues in you. If you have not that tap, you're going to open it this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because that is why the fire is not born enough within you to lay hand on the sick and the sick will recover. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Brother, can we run a little? Yes. Yes, sir. Now, verse 6, now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, mm -hmm. what shall I profit you? Yes. Except I shall speak to you either by revelation, or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by doctrine. So if I come to you, <laughs> so I'm foolish people will be saying amen, amen, amen. You don't need to say amen. Because the Bible says you need to know what to say amen to. You need to understand what you are amening. Praise the Lord. So the whole church stand up to pray and then you go. Everybody go. La, 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 la. Who get to that? Say they are pavilions. They are not pavilions. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that the spirit is subject to the prophets? All the old New Testament believers are prophets. I hope you know. Do you know that? Yes, sir. That's what Brother Brown told us. And it's true. We are not talking about ascension gifts, prophet, in this case. You are the prophet of your life. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Do you get that? Okay, let's continue with Moses. Verse 7. And even things without light, and even things without light, give me sign, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sound. Yes. How shall it be known what is piped or harp? Mm -hmm. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, mm -hmm. who shall prepare himself to the battle? Let's stop here a little. How many of you know martial music? Okay, it's an officer there. Praise the Lord. When you hear it, you should begin to dance. Have you? You know that there's a problem. Amen. They start to play it. Then there is either mutiny, or there's a coup, or there's war. Praise the Lord. Amen. But there are people who hear that song and say, ah, I like this music, how about that listen to it? Because they don't know what it is. They don't know it is their death they are calling. Now, if you are reasonable or you know what it is, on any morning you wake up and the martial music is played, no matter how your boss he was calling you, you should not go out. Is that correct? You are not to go out. You just tell him, sir, or ma'am, there is a martial song going on over the radio. And we have to stay put where we are. That's the morning that soldiers pick people up. If it is a coup. 
They draw the line, block the roads. They search people. Then you are a young man driving a car. Who gave you this car? He says, stop it. Where's the company name on the car? They slap you. Pack this car here and they go running, they're running away. That's what they will use to start the government. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you didn't have understanding. Let's go on. Verse 9. So likewise ye, except ye alter by the tongue works, easy to be understood. Yes. How shall it be know what is spoken? Yes. For ye shall speak into the air. So people who speak in tongues without other people understanding them, the tongues that I call unknown tongues, praise the Lord, are speaking in the air. And they are wasting the time of other people. Because this thing is called fellowship. Somebody say fellowship. fellowship. We are here for what? Fellowship. fellowship. And in fellowship, we should be in one accord. We should mind the same thing, bear the same rule in fellowship. Do you understand that? Okay, verse 10. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world. Yes. And none of them is without signification. No voice! No sound is without meaning. Praise the Lord. There was a time when we shot of teachers in school, government school, and they brought all kinds of faculty teachers to come and teach us. We suffered. Among them was one man. He was teaching Christian religious knowledge. The Holy Spirit gave me the baby. That's how I was teaching it. We look at it. Ah, what's this man saying? You know when you think you know. He said, Uriah was the wife of Bathsheba. I lift up my hand. I said, No, sir. Because they told us just last Sunday, yesterday, and today was Monday. I said, No, sir. It was uh, Bathsheba that was the wife of Uriah. He, you slap to tell me I should shut up. You want to teach me? I look my notes, my son, the school notes was just saying my back. I look at that. Uriah, the wife of Bathsheba. And this man is saying Bathsheba is the husband of Uriah. Now, but why am I going to make this as an example? Because of sound. Somebody is at him. And the man, let me allow him. He forgot that the thing is called easy. They come here. You have it? <laughs> can you do it to your father? Or can you do it to your mother? Where we were, but we can, because the man is very dead, we, we were trying to laugh. I bite my tongue and wound it. But don't want to laugh, man, because if you laugh, I don't have a problem. We're jumping like this. So you do it to me. Ah! <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, but whatever he was doing, you know what he was doing. Every sound represents something. If you have been to the house of an Egyptian before, or any Arabian person, they use clap to talk to their servants. So every family has got a code. So if they will clap for water, they will clap for times. The person comes out. Surprisingly, he brings water without any word. The place is hot. They want to come and either lower the air condition or open the windows. They tap again. Bah, 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 bah. The person comes. He knows what to do. They train him by sound. The sound of clapping. Also, we are talking about sound now. What about silence? In Africa, I'm talking about real African children. We don't have them these days. I can't call my children African children. They are just living in Africa. Praise the Lord. Real African children. Ask your mother, they will tell you. Somebody, this is in the house. The guest is in the house. 
The mother just come and just look at the daughter two times. The girl just stand up and go into her room. But today, if I look at my daughter, I say, Daddy, what do you mean? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Something wrong with your eyes. That's having trouble. Oh, Junior, bring your car. Come and take car. He took that report for the visitor. <laughs> your mother will say, Junior, bring your car, Miss Auntie. <laughs> you should understand that she's being opposite. <laughs> Some juniors will come with big cup. <laughs> the mother look at him. Somebody told me, say, why are you looking at me with bad eye, mommy? When the visitor goes, you want to drink coke. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My uncle, the bishop. With my father, my late father, they went with their father. They were, it, 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 they were invited for lunch. Those days, they invited a great man to come with either anybody he wants. They made a feast for him. Big, nice feast. They were eating. The bishop had mistakenly the father of gone the paramecle. And he let her into his mouth. And he was thinking what to do. He dare not bring it out. The best bet was to swallow it. I'm telling you how life was hard those days for children. So when the bishop was, you know, because he has to be eating, when he passed it to Kocha here, at the time he doesn't mistake it no more. The father just said, there, there. He called the host. We don't better food. Ah, sir. Said, ah, ah, we are still. He's, by the time he's coming, he's matching someone. He can peel your leg. Because those are the real wear shoes sometimes. They match your leg without your hard leg. He said, no, ah, ah, we, are, we are okay. He carefully ate his own fish and everything and meat. He said, we are okay. As they were going home, he branched back and buy two bags of whatever. And gave it to be cooked with pepper. The young man had two days to finish it. I'm not saying that was good. They went too far. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But they had some discipline. They understood the sound, every sound of their parents. There is no sound without meaning. Why do you sit in your home? And you hear from in the sky. You say to rain. You understand the sound. And then you see the signs. Amen. 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 There is no sign, sound, without a meaning. Then why should somebody speak in church and nobody will know what you say? When nature itself has taught you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's continue, brother. If I make my point. Yes. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so he, for as much as he has seen us of spiritual gifts, yes. seek that he may excel to the edifying of the church. When we are in fellowship, Seek to edify the church. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. Mm -hmm. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit pray, yes. for my understanding is unfruitful. Yes. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. Stop. Then I will pray with the spirit. Pray with the spirit. He didn't say pray in the spirit. 
and the Lord is that spirit. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. It means John prayers. And from tonight, I want you to join God in prayers. How? Eternal thoughts. When you pray according to the will of God, how will I know the will of God? The heaven, the mind of God, has been spelled out. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I will pray in the will of God. He's praying with God. He's praying with the Spirit. And you cannot pray with the Spirit and not come out with result. Is it the will of God that I'll be healed? Yes. Yes. Then I'll pray in that direction. I will meditate on scriptures that are pertaining to you. I will not make empty boasting. Empty boasting is not fit. I will not motivate myself. No, I will be real. Faith wants to be real. Because I used to have heaven. Yes, I have heaven. Because I don't have heaven. No, you have heaven. But the heaven will go. Amen. They let the weak say, I am strong. The weak is not claiming strength. The weak became strong. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am weak, but you are strong. Lord, I want to be strong with you. I am down, but you are up. Lord, I want to be up with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Amen. There are things that are going on today which I don't want us to be caught up in that web of such spirits. Praise the Lord. Amen. People give false testimonies. It doesn't help you, neither does it help God. Amen. Amen. There's nothing wrong for you to confirm the healing. There's nothing wrong. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you speak by, by with faith, I speak these things by faith. Declare that you are speaking by faith. Amen. Am I talking to someone? Christians, I'm talking to believers. believers. Tell your neighbor again. There is no problem without solution. No problem without solution. And, the solution and the solution is one. Jesus Christ. Jesus. If you believe it, say amen. I will pray with the Spirit, verse 15, and I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, I will sing with understanding also. Praise the Lord. He's not talking two different things here. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God is not the Spirit of ignorance. No way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But there are unknown tongues. There are times you pray, and as you pray, you get out of yourself. Or out of yourself. No. You get into another realm. Yes, Amen. Amen. At that time, you don't determine your prayer points. That's true. The way we have learned to pray is the way that pushed us away from God. Let's pray like this. Let's pray like this. Yeah, we are aiding you to pray. But actually, you are supposed to come pray until you are tired, until you fall asleep. And I repeat it. Then I tell myself, there is no way it is God except in Nigeria. 
prayer points originated here in Nigeria. They use it to check people. Which of the viewers, viewers, have you ever viewers, viewers, have you ever been in prayer points? It like just comes out praying. When they say this is the time of prayer, nobody will tell you this is the time of prayer. They are worshiping. As they are worshiping the Lord, the worshiper breaks down. It's on his own. At that time, the flood gate is open. Everyone, go and drink. Amen. But we are stereotyped. We are controlled by the law. At this time, we shall sing only two hymns. And then the Lord Bishop will come. The reading of prayers came from the Catholics. They read prayers. We don't read any prayer. Oh, brother, we are going to do 21 days night vision. We are going to pray 102 prayer points. And they write it down for you. It's okay, but it's not spiritual. Yes, one or two, three prayer points will be given to you to guide you as a guide. Okay, want to pray for the sick? Want to concentrate on these people? Want to see that we pray for them until something happens? I don't see such waiting again. We have been praying until something happens. They are in a hurry to go and testify without actually passing through this, the process. Eternal thoughts. I want people here to say, for God to say to somebody, you just said what was in my mind. If a man can say that to you, God can say that to you. One day, Noah touched the heart of God. The Bible says he came out from the ark and he kept sacrificing. He kept sacrificing. He kept sacrificing. He kept sacrificing. Brother uh, uh, Kolo was telling me about commitment. He said there must be commitment. People must sacrifice. No sacrifice, no blessing. Amen. As God was sacrificing, he sacrificed up to the level that he removed from the normal sacrifice level and then turned it to another realm. And when he sacrificed those sets, God came down and spoke through a rainbow. He showed a rainbow. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will not back. And sure, as long as the earth remains, rain. If there is no rain in the land, call the scripture. Talk to God about it. God will keep his law. Rain will come. For many years now, I know Randy Karamoja. I went there to preach. And we prayed sincerely. It was not long the rain came. And now every week it rained in Karamoja. Now it's not book and drink water. Because you could dig the well forever. You will never find water. You will be digging for eternity. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen and amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Eternal thoughts. How that God one day was on his own and a man came to pray in Gibeon. A young man. He was about 17 years old. And he came. And he entered the first day for the prayer. After he had finished praying, he started sacrificing. He brought all that he inherited from his father that he's supposed to use to start his life. He sacrificed God to the Lord God of Israel. And when he did, God said to him, Wow, you have just said what it was in my mind. What do you want me to do for you? He came to pray, but now God was praying to him. That's another level. God was praying now to him. Amen! Amen. Those prayers and making requests. So God requested from him, Sir, what do you want me to do for you? Praise the Lord. Pray in the, in the Spirit and pray with understanding. Amen. Amen. Private time with God. Private time in a public place. Is it possible? Yes. 
I can be in a bus, and the bus is traveling from here to over here, wherever he wants to go to, and I refuse to be distracted. Jesus said something about prayer. When you pray, do what? Go to your closets. Amen. Amen. Well, what does that mean? Clap for those that are sleeping. Let's clap for those that are sleeping. I do that. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you are here this morning, you want God to deliver you. Pay attention to the word of God. Amen. Amen. Deliverance comes when God sends his word. Ah, and he gives you your soul. Ah, Are you listening to me now? Yes. When you want to pray, find that scripture for me. Who is going to look for that scripture for me? This is March chapter 6 or something like that. When you pray, enter into your closets. Ah. Praise the Lord. Tell everybody, enter into your closets. Yes. So now, that like Jesus said, when you pray at home, enter into your closet, or when you pray anywhere. Anywhere. So how will you enter into your closet if you are in the bus? I used to enter into my closet in the plane. When I have long flights. Never have I traveled sitting with somebody that I like. Praise the Lord. Matthew 6. Matthew 6, what? Verse 6. Verse 6. Very quickly, brother. But when thou, when thou prayest, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. When enter into your closet. And when thou hast shut thy door. When thou hast shut thy door. Pray to thy father, which is in secret. Stop there. Now when you hear door, you think it's door of the house. It's door of your mind. Brother. You can shut your door while walking on the street. You will not stop walking on the street. Naked women are walking, brother. Naked men are walking. But you can shut your door. Yes. You cannot walk in, the, in an office that is corrupt. People are doing all sorts of things. You start, don't join them because you are a Christian. You all become alive. Amen. Amen. My God will bless you. My God will bless you. Amen. My God is the Lord Jesus Christ. He will bless you. Amen. He doesn't need you to just join people and do anything. Don't join. But I don't join. Shut your door. Shut your door. Don't join them. Shut your door. He told me of a man. Whose servant stole from him and ran away, went to Europe. Amen. Amen. Many of you know this story. That may not be a state. Stole from him, ran away, went to Europe. And after about eight years, he came back. I begged the master. The master was now sick. He started taking care of him. Begged the master. Pay back that money. And that started telling the master that he should get the land for him. He wants to build a house. That man got the house. What built a five story building? He started giving the man money. The man started building. Where they would have used 16 mm. Uh, 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 I, I rods, he used 10 mm, 11 mm. When they would have used 12, he used 8 inches. Build the house. The house was going. Build the house and completed it. I painted it. Then the young man came back. He said, Behold your house. He said, No, sir. It was not mine. It is yours. The man fainted and died at this point.
That's all. No judgment. Hallelujah. Anywhere you are, do what is right. Amen. Give your best. Amen. 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 The Lord God is your rewarder. Amen. And it's not a fake. Yes, do your best. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Unknown tongue. Another tongue. Diverse kinds of tongue. Please look at verse 10 for me again. To another, first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. To another, walking of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, discerning the spirit, to another, diverse kinds of tongues. Somebody say diverse kinds of tongues. You have a brother here who just be just any where he goes to, he understands the language. Anywhere he goes to, he understands the language. Language is that he has gifts of tongues. He has gifts of tongues. He can speak Spanish. Speak, speak the Iraqi. Speak of it. Anywhere he goes in the just any people he meets, just in a short time, he will three months. He's already perfecting them. Praise the Lord. And then diverse kind of tongues. Also tongues of men and tongues of angels. Somebody said to me one some few days ago, Hey, you mean somebody speaking tongues of angels? Yes, sir. If men ate the food of angels, the Bible said man was angels' food. If men ate the food of angels, why would they just eat tons of men? What's the big thing? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. When you pray, enter into your closets. Brother, you can be in a public place and enter into your closets. You meditate concerning the things of God. Oh, this book of the law, say with me, brother, shall not depart from thy mouth. But day and night. Stop. What was your meditation last night? People spend quality time rehearsing what Ubonna has done against them. They explain it when you have issues with people and you have another person going to explain the damage what that person did. You don't even understand. Let me explain to you. If he's a lawyer, he tells you. In the law, what that guy did is called he blew on the night ground. That ground will join and become a problem to you. If he's a biologist, he will tell you the botanical name of that problem. And oh, you are the one receiving punishment. Punch. Somebody did evil to you, and you are doing he's helping you to do evil to yourself. No, sir. Be careful for nothing. Let me call you foolish. Just try. Number one. Amen. Somebody said one time, he said, every time we exhibit anger, we shorten our life by one hour. Tell your neighbor, one minute of anger, take away one hour of your life. That he gave it. That's why Solomon said, that men should have many hearts. That if your heart is rejoicing, you don't even need medicine. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. If you can have a rejoicing heart, you don't need medicine. Yes. Don't need medicine. Yes. Amen! Yes. Stay around people that make you happy. You yourself get mature 
to accommodate people, convert their foolishness to make you happy. You want to my job. Why? God is going to give you a wicked boss. God is going to give you a wicked colleague to train you. To train you. You must wake up. God is going to make you have neighbors. God is going to make you have cousins. Uncles. That will make sure they bring you down. But you must. You must have eternal thoughts. Think like your maker. He's so good. People don't want to eat. He give them food. They don't want to eat. He give them air to breathe and to live and to cause sin. Hallelujah. Eternal thoughts, my brothers. Wake up from your sleep. Why do you wake up every day and get angry? Why is the first assignment you do is to get angry with yourself? Not forgive yourself, thinking how bad mistakes you made. Even those who made the mistakes, they might have forgotten. You cannot pause. Pray with the Spirit, pray with our non tongues. Fire your Personal life with God. Hey. Occupy yourself until demons will not be able to come close. Begin to burn from the inside. There are some fire when they are burning. They don't show. They are burning inside. They want somebody to stop with. The fire goes burning. Have you seen a guy burning before? From the bonnets. They didn't know that the fire was a big fire. But when they open the bonnet, run. The person just stop. Boom. Be like that. Be like the car that is born from the inside. Begin to pour from the inside. Begin to talk to God from the inside. Begin to meditate. Somebody remind God of something. Did you not say? Did your word not say? Did you not do? Did you not open? Did you not close? Did you not give? Did you not heal? When you bubble from the inside, one time when it comes out, it is done. For God Himself said. I will do beyond what you think. Then your labor holy thinking. Eternal thoughts. Oh Father. Help us. Help us in a time like this. That God may say, trust what was in my mind. Exactly what was in my mind. Let's go right. Talk to the Lord, wherever you are. Get away from everybody. They will be sitting near you. They will have bodies to be touching your body. But enter into your closet and spend time. Enter into your closet. Why is that one thing overcoming you? Why is only one thing overcoming you? Say that it's not possible. There must be something that you must be they bring you down like this. Say that's not true. Eternal thoughts. Only thinking. Oh my father. Remember me. Remember me. Is somebody praying? Talk to the Lord. Pray with the Spirit now. Not your own. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord.
If I was not fruitful yesterday, I get angry in my spirit right now with the holy hunger. I begin to manifest more growth. Growth. Why is the demon of lack in my house? What is he doing there? Who gave him room? Who gave you room in my heart? Who gave you room in my heart? You sit there, who gave you room? Why did I collect right from you? Who told you you can live here? Who told you that my life is a free life? You spirits. You spirit of that. Who told you? Who told you that my house is free? Go and live here. You demon of destruction. Who told you that my house is free? Go and live here. Talk to the Lord. You are quarreling with someone that is all your money. You don't need to quarrel, brother. Burn it right now. We will bring it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody is joining your position. Somebody is in your international passport. Somebody is in your money. Somebody is in your job. Somebody. You don't need to quarrel. You don't need to shout. Burn it right now. Thank you, watch it. Hey, my uncle don't want me to marry. My auntie don't want me to marry. Nonsense. You don't need to talk about that. Right now, get in the spirit. Pray with the spirit. Pray right now. Who told you that you cannot be free? What problems are in your life that Jesus cannot take care of? As far as you didn't die yesterday, as far as you didn't die yesterday, the enemy cannot kill you. What problems are there that you cannot take care of? What problems are there that the Lord cannot take care of? What problems are there that the Lord cannot take care of? Type your words. What fear is that of tomorrow that the Lord cannot take care of? Thank you. What's the important? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about the problem? The Lord is speaking. The Lord is speaking. Yes. Because the name was a secret. 
If it was Michael, Michael would have said, I am Michael. If it was Gabriel, Gabriel would have said, I am Gabriel. But because that angel was the angel of the Lord, he did not tell his name. But we know him today. He's telling the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, when he said he was supposed to preach, he was in there, confirming the world, confirming the world, confirming the world, confirming the world. Let him confirm the world in my life and the life, in your life today. Confirm the world right now. What it does? Confirm the world.
that are lifted and held in your place. No one shall steal your miracles away from you. This pastor that the Lord has released by his angels, no one shall steal away from you. It is well with you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's move our hands to the Lord. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you.